What's up, guys? Carolina Jackpot Time checking in. Let's uh, jump into the second half of the 250 grand book, the group scratch and South Carolina Education Lottery. Through tickets 000 through 014, we only have three winners a $10 winner, a $15 winner, and a $50 winner. By my math, that is 75 bucks. Not too great, but on the other hand, it's pretty decent if you look at the fact that we should get back nine winners on a ten dollar book so we should have another six winners here that would be another sixty dollars in addition to the 75 which would be 135 that's not great but i know we're going to do better than six break-even tickets on these last uh 15 so let's get it going let's do it let's get it done in the words of lawrence stevens let's get her done Y'all know who Lawrence Stevens is, don't you? That's a comedian. Better known as Larry the Cable Guy. Get her done! <laughs> I hadn't heard that in years. Let's get her done! 18, 19, 4, 40, and 22. It was only funny when he said it. When everybody else tried to do it, it was just stupid. Kind of like what I just did then. Stupid. <laughs> oh, man. That guy tripped me out. I saw him in person a couple of times. Live. That was a nut. F-H-Y, that's a loser. He's just funny. He was funny, talking about, you got to like it when you go out on a date with a gal that trims up, you know, cause uh, you don't want no gal that, that, that takes her jean shorts down and you got to pull out a hunting rifle to shoot all the quail coming out of that side. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. 12, 38, 7, 36, and 1. Talking about getting some bad Pringles at Walmart or something one time. He's like, I tell you what, yeah, I eat them damn kind of Pringles. I shit through a screen or <laughs> fence. That's how bad them Pringles was. At the Walmart. Lucky number one comes through. $15. Lucky number one. Where's he been at? Let's scratch. I don't know. I don't think he's coming back. He's, um... He's been out of the game for quite a while now. I think the last I heard from Let's Scratch, he, and I used to correspond with him ever so often when, uh, I used to do a lot of fan mail. He stopped doing fan mail. But, um, yeah. He, uh... He used to do fan mail. He was trying to get all 50 states done, and I don't think he ever did get it done. 28, 35, 12, 17, 25. GA Scratcher, I think, has actually gotten it done. Or maybe. You'd have to ask GA Scratcher that. But I think he got every state done that has lottery tickets. Um, but uh, I... Let Scratch is a good dude. I owe a lot to him. He helped me get probably a hundred subs uh, during the time because I sent him fan mail seven different occasions and he had a bunch of subscribers. And man, uh, after he would post a video of mine, I would just have subs come rolling in. And make no mistake about it, I am not here at the loser. God. On YouTube to make a fortune. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be able to quit my day job, you know, to have a career here on YouTube. But um, it's nice to have more subs to, you know, look at your sub count on Tuesday and see that it's higher than it was on Sunday. I mean, it really is. 2, 9, 17, 28, and 30. So I owe a lot to Let's Scratch. He's, a, he's an all right dude. 
really wish would come back and make video. Last I heard of him, he was moving, or he was uh, not, he wasn't moving his family, but he was going to do some work in Michigan. He lives in Ohio, and he was going up north to Michigan for work for a while, so, you know. winner right at the very end 10 bucks i would like to have seen him oh it's 20 bucks where's the other 10 what did i miss see i get off on a tangent and start talking and i miss things just gotta look for the other 10 and we'll find it 17 yep yeah, there and there how weird is that see how the, you, you see what i'm talking about did you see what i'm talking about they put winners there, and they like to put them there. I'm telling you, this is a damn market employee to make you think, oh, we're going to win all. But then when you don't, you think, oh, no, I almost got to win all the numbers. But I'm going to do it next time. Yeah. That's what they do. First time I ever got a win all numbers on a $10 South Carolina ticket was on one back in uh, 2012, I think it was, called Lucky Diamonds. And I matched 25, 25, 25, 25 times 20, a $500 winner. Now that's what you call matching all 10 numbers. Yeah, that was nice. I took my son on a trip that weekend. I was already planning on taking him to the museum in Columbia. Just a day trip. It was a little bit nicer to be sitting on a little bit of a uh, that chunk in my wallet, you know? you know. My ass was giving me a little bit of problems that day because there was a little bit more money back there. 26, 30, 38, 19, and 20. That dude had to pay me at the Indian store, had to pay me in like all fives and tens and twenties. So that was cool. And I need to get to paying attention on these last uh, 10 tickets of this book because we are bound to start hitting some winners. Haven't had a lot so far. I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be a big one on here, y'all. I mean, we've already had a decent size one. The $50 winner was like a medium sized prize, so. There's a WY, NWY. NWY. That is a losing code. It's a code for losers. One, two, three, four, five. We got five tickets winners so far. And we're on ticket number 20, 10 to go. So, what that means, there should be four more here. Forty, thirty-six, three. 37 and 28. NWY. That was the code on that one. I see those letters together. I start thinking of NWO. Y'all remember that? Any of y'all wrestling fans? I am. I'm subscribed to a bunch of wrestling channels on here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I listen to a podcast every Monday. Um, that's uh, done by Tony Schiavone. Used to be the uh, one of the play-by-play -play guys on WCW Monday Nitro. And actually, he worked for that company for years. He worked for it before it was even WCW. He worked for it. He started there in 1983. Um before the first Starcade, actually. Uh, he worked for Jim Crockett Promotions. Tony Schiavone uh, now is, uh, he does his podcast. He is the uh, color guy for the Gwinnett Braves, the AAA team uh, in Gwinnett County, Georgia, based out of Lawrenceville, the Braves AAA affiliate. I kind of find that weird that the Braves AAA team is like, you could throw a rock and hit their stadium from where the big club stadium is, but anyway, 35, 14, 5, 20, and 31, whatever works. Whatever works. Uh, Tony also 
does some sideline reporting on the radio for the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network, whom I... Georgia, to me, is a weird team. Just 31, that's a winner. I hate Georgia because I'm a South Carolina fan, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If uh, I wasn't a Gamecock fan, if that was not my team, there's not a winner. I think for some reason I would be a Georgia Bulldog fan. I don't know why. Something about them, the history, their – just, I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued by them, but I hate them still. Ten and five. That's a $15 winner. Still hate them. But, anyway. We're talking about wrestling. And Tony's doing some podcasts with a guy, and they're talking about wrestling and stuff back in the old days. And stuff that used to happen. Y'all remember that? How many of y'all were pissed off? Back in 1996, did any of y'all uh, watch Bash at the Beach 1996 live when that happened? I did. Uh, when you watch Hulk Hogan turn on the fans and like everybody knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Um, I just didn't know when. 3, 4, 25, 37, 40. Because like society was changing back then, back in the 90s. I mean, it wasn't cool to take your vitamins and say your prayers back then. It was cool to, you know, be an asshole and throw stuff and just, you know, be a total dick in general. And, and honestly, that kind of thinking has bled over into today's uh, today's mindset. And, God, my God, they're even worse today. You know, it, you know, kind of like every, people were cheering for Stone Cold Steve Austin back then, you know. In the early 1980s, no one would have cheered. Somebody like Stone Cold Steve Austin that gave the middle finger to a uh, eh, loser to the you know the announcers and the referee and gave a finishing move to the referee and stuff like that. But that, the WWE did play that up after you know they found out that the fans actually liked that and liked him. They played that up big time. 3, 13, 39, 15, 34. I do feel, though, that nobody knew that uh, Stone Cold was going to be as popular as he was going to become when he uh, cut that first promo at the 1996 King and Ring when he got up there and after he beat Jake the Snake Roberts, got a winner here, and he... You know, Jake the Snake had battled, like, alcoholism and drug addiction and all kind of problems, and uh, he was older, too. I mean, my, my God, the guy was, like, probably 45 or 50, and Stone Cold beat him to win the King of the Ring, and then he got up there, and uh, he cut this promo on him. It's a winner. And, you know, when you're the King of the Ring, you're supposed to go up there and get your robe and your crown. If anybody knows Stone Cold, they know he's not going to wear any of that garbage. But he got up there and he cut some kind of promo. He said, I tell you what, said they're going to carry your sorry carcass back to the dressing room and you can thump your Bible and you can say your prayers and it ain't going to get you nothing. He said, you talk about your Psalms, talk about your John 3.16. Well, Austin 3.16 says, I just whipped your ass. And I don't like when he said that, it got like the strangest reaction from the crowd. It was like a pop, but it wasn't. And uh, Freebird Michael Hayes, who called himself Doc Hendricks, the announcer, was uh, interviewing him, and he was like, "What? What are you saying? You can't. You, you can't be serious." He's like, "I'm serving notice to all the WWF superstars. I'm fixing to start running through them one by one, and you're looking at the next world's champion right here." And it took him a couple years to get there, but uh, he finally done it. Sure did. Beat Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14, which I love that. When he stone cold stunned that prick, pinned him, and Mike Tyson came in there and counted the one, two, three. Good shit, guys. Good shit. All right. I'm going to finish up. Uh, tickets 25 through 29. Do uh, part three next, and uh, we'll be done. Ain't been a great book so far, but uh, we still got five more chances to dream ourselves. Stay tuned. Oh, and I'm out.